I am back with more Legend of Grimrock. We just made it down to a new floor. Yes, we did. Counter some mushrooms, which are very annoying and bothersome, but we managed to pull out a victory on that. And then we dealt with... Well, we didn't deal with them, but we saw a couple of our ranged attacking archers. Which are going to be a pain, our next pain. But we closed the door, locking them in. I've not found uh, one of those awesome crystals yet in this area. But we will definitely keep an eye out for it. Beasts, or er, beast gardens and menagerie. So that's, uh, I guess, where the helpers, time and tide. Cheap shots. I think I got him that time. Hard to tell sometimes. Alright, got them taken care of. Picking up an arrow. Is that a frost arrow actually? Be interesting if that can be reused. Here are some more of those bastards. Not really ready for them right now. So, ow! Out of here, and apparently end up here, where maybe I can rest? Probably. Although I can hear them walking around still. And of course, I forget that resting is interrupted by moving position of ranks. Now, I am playing this game on normal difficulty. I'm talking about this game on expert difficulty because I'm having trouble with that. But, the point is, I'm considering switching up to an easier difficulty just to uh, make the gameplay a little bit uh, more consistent. So that uh, the playthrough isn't just a bunch of me backtracking. Because I seem to do a lot of that in this game, just to go back to heal. And it really does kind of interrupt the flow. Anyway, uh, catacombs. That sounds like a dangerous place. I'm sure that says the same thing because it's the exact same wall I just read. Yep, Beast Gardens and Menagerie. Wait a minute, wait a minute. And a Stone of Trickery, apparently. Trials of Thought. No one of these places appeals to me any more than. Any other? Okay, the torch is running low. Do not have a key for this door, but that does make it more uh, obvious what we have to do. And of course we can see the uh, staircase going down right away. Okay, that is the area where I was falling before as well. Um, trials of Thought. Trails of Thought. Alright, well, let's see what this is all about. Button. Uh, 
and the uh, only way I can go from here is under a teleporter, which takes me out of the room. So it's basically just about figuring out which is the proper path. Okay. So that will activate the portal. I kind of understand this one, so this will... Yep, okay, so... Alright. Uh, each space adjacent to me, if it has a portal, will become a portal, or it will lose a portal when I move into it. So, for example, there is space in front of me has no portal, but when I move there, two spaces ahead of me is a portal, and to the right of that space is a portal, and where I'm standing currently is not a portal, so that will reverse. So all we have to do is ensure that there's a portal in the next spot over. So if I went there, that would become a portal, and I don't want that. Now knowing this, and getting it to work, I'm sure there's an easy way through that. Uh, once you kind of figure out the pattern, but I did kind of get through it. Yeah, what about the scares on this game? Surprisingly, it's not one that I think, but it just catches me off guard because I'm so comfortable and confident that there's nothing coming up. And then it gets me like that. So, if for nothing else, on this video. It should be entertaining hearing me jump at all these silly little things. Okay, if I... Do I have anything odd here that I don't really need to hold on to? This. Leave that there. Nope. I was kind of hoping it would be like I never got up, or never left the tile. It does not appear to be the case. There we are. Key master gets the key. And then let me just... Hey, yeah, good idea, use the key on there. This one didn't quite get me. Wasn't really ready for it, expecting it, but did not shock me, as the previous one did. I'm using lightning because it has a uh, metal shield and all that. Now, I did want to grab another one of these spears. But we're going to back up here. Actually, we can... Oh. Oh, my timing was off there. Just have to wait for it to come back around. There we are. Not a terribly dangerous enemy, but did hit me pretty well there. Managed to take it out. As I was saying, I do want to pick up one of these spears. Okay, just give it to me, alright? There. There we go. Just so he can hang on to it. I'll duck into this corner, get some rest. And we get another message. I watched this dungeon being built. But they took it away from my people and twisted it. Filled it with traps and riddles. That is how this place was meant to be. That is not how this place was meant to be.
Now hopefully a little bit more uh, resting will allow me to go without uh, without running back to crystals quite as often. some sort by his call I can only assume that's the one that I just found well what else was there to do in that room I don't know Not recover my uh, throwing knives. Okay, this is back to uh, the start. Which is not really where I want to be. Now. Well, I'm back up. I got my throwing knives back. Hold up. Crimes forgiven. Cavern still echoing. Put to sleep. Eternally imprisoned. Well, crime's forgiven. Sounds like what I'm looking for. So let's go this way then. Ouch. bad. I can dodge out or something. Just checking over there. I don't want to get flanked. Should probably be using uh, electric attack here. And we got a level. Or a lovely caster here. And where is the scrolls in here? Where are we going to swap this scroll out for that one? Okay, we're going to try and get up to 13. I'm considering actually uh, increasing his defense a little bit. Staff defense. The skill improves a mage's defensive abilities. I don't know. Kind of want to focus on the fire magic then. And we'll put a point into there. I suppose the earth magic would, uh, oh, it adds resist points and it does add vitality a little bit eventually. I hear the enemy, but uh, one thing I want to do here, if I can, is to, no I can't do that, not quite get to that.
find a new spell there. Nope, not high enough skill for that. So we're gonna stick with uh, our fire here. Watch in the back. Probably still doesn't have enough energy to cast this anyway. One down. Oh, I did not want to put him up there though. Okay, that does that. Definitely need to rest now though. There's no doubt in that. Let's go through the portal to rest first, or first to rest. Worry about rearranging my party in a little bit because, again, that will break rest. Okay, breaking rest, reorganizing. Yeah, I'm just being picky about the consistency of the party. That's all right. Come on over. really not that bad if you're ready for them, because they do try and stay at range. I would actually kind of like to get a bow right now, even though I ha have been focusing on uh, thrown weapons. Here we find another note. It seems I'm not this... It seems I'm not the first prisoner to go through these ancient tunnels, and in case I'm not the last, I've started to write down my thoughts and discoveries. Although I certainly do hope that no one else needs to suffer through these dungeons. To room, to room. All right. Checking the map, of course, because maps are maps. Doesn't really tell me much. I was just looking to see where I am in relation to everything else. All right. The friends in there. Now, will this hit me or them? Me. We're going to rest right here, knowing that we're safe for the moment. But I have a definite feeling that if I were to flip this switch, I would not be safe at all. So I'm going to avoid that for the moment. Is there anything behind them? Yeah, they're standing on a plate, pressure plate. Oh, hello, what's this? Crossbow quarrel, which I have not found a crossbow either. That is unfortunate. I will come back here. Let's put a little uh, mark here for uh, skeletons. I do not know if I'm strong enough to take on four of them just all in a row. I'm sure this is going to be a terrible idea too. Here is the 
Is it the uh, burrow rat shank? Well, food is good. I don't know if that particular food was uh, entirely necessary. Necessary. Entirely necessary to grab, but it can't hurt. And that's where it loops around. So it looks like we'll not have to fight these guys. But if I do fight them, and looking at my food situation now, definitely need to eat a little bit. Wait, he's got a delicious boiled crag beetle. A delicacy everywhere in the entire world, because why not? Alright, on we go. And yeah, that was right. That was just gonna happen. Good start. Alright, we got a level. That is excellent. Nothing there or there. But what I think we may have to do is to move all this equipment off of the pl pressure plate. There's a button here which locks me in. Of course I have to wait for it open before I can attack. Hopefully I can take him out with too much difficulty because I am injured now. Did not uh, think that one threw to rest. Okay. Secret found. And in this sack we have some food couple of tar beads which we'll give over to here and some leather gloves which we will give to here. Bring two points of protection, give some gloves to my lovely assistant and let's do some leveling up. Can I rest and level up at the same time? No. Definitely a wise choice to rest at this point. Now I'm doing a lot better with my resting so I'm not having to constantly go back to the crystals which is Definitely a good thing. Alright, thrown missiles. I get a point of strength. Which does what exactly? Now that we're actually going to think about things. It increases attack power and carrying capacity. Carrying capacity is nice. Attack power is probably relevant for thrown. I may go ahead and do that, but uh, we're going to put a little bit into dodge as well. Just to work towards light arm pro armor proficiency. Okay, we can get up to heavy armor proficiency here, which should help out a lot. And then we will put the remaining point into swords or athletics. I think I'm going to go with swords. Eventually that should pay out. And torch is running low. We're just going to drop it for a new one. We'll drop all these burnt torches. And move along. Um, actually, that did open uh, two doors. So, hello, wait a minute. Oh. Well, it's not too important, but we did find another of these bone amulets. 
primitive made out of bone string together. We'll give it to uh, our Minotaur friend here. Probably doesn't actually do anything, but he wants one. It makes him look more intimidating. And 13 evasion is excellent. We're definitely benefiting from that. He should have a much better survivability now. And that looks like that was all we were going to get from this area now. Is that a full chain? No. Wait a minute. See, it's another one of those things. I thought that there might have been something in there. Got tricked by the pull chain, saw the uh, body. Thought it looked a little bit odd, but just not used to looking at it from that particular angle. Okay, now these are closed. And that brings us back to this room. Okay. We're gonna transfer over this and what else can we move out of his inventory? Give her the skull. Because by his call to depths beyond measure, or maybe the other order is correct, I'm not sure. It seems like some sort of message that we're uh, putting together here. And we're gonna jump in here so that Carrion does not. Carrion. That foul bird does not come after me. Right, that teleported us back to this beginning area. That is a locked door. And then directly forward is also a sealed passage. Alright, so we've cleared out Catacomb, which is what this was, Crimes Forgiven, Cavern's still echoing, put to sleep, and internally imprisoned. Let's go here. The put to sleep one worries me a little bit. Hello! got a button here. Looks like there's nothing really else to do. So we're gonna push it. Okay, now I did open that really quickly, but... Hmm. Okay, so that closed it. So maybe I have to... Can I even make it over there that quickly? Oh, now it's open. Okay, I'm not sure if I succeeded or failed. Got a knight over there, or whatever he wants to be called, I don't know. Come in and get our back to them. <laughs> now it appears that if they are not uh, set up in a formation, they cannot uh, enter into a formation. We can use that to our benefit. That's an excellent hit there. And here comes the last one, or the next one. Don't really know if there are more. Alright, three down. And here's a note. Okay, alright. Now, unfortunately, I can't really look at this note at the same time as I look at the map, can I? I can do this. Now it looks like there's warning about a slime of some sort. But I don't really see where that map correlates to. So 
So we're probably just going to stumble upon it and be like, oh. Yeah, that's where the map said that I was going to die at. Or something along those lines. The door here. A little bit of a room there. Another plant. Of course, used to make mana potions. Alright. There are a couple of uh, places here that I cannot get to. Taking a look at the map real quick. There's one spot I haven't been. I don't have a lot of hope for it, though. Here comes a knight. Another knight. Now the one thing I should keep in mind about uh, magic is fire magic uh, spell. Yeah, I do have a spell that I do not know yet. But uh, I think that if it does not say that there's a spell you don't know, then you just don't know. Okay, that was easy enough to open. But uh, what happened to my throne daggers? That is what I would like to know. Oh yeah, I forgot about you. picked him up. And then I locked myself in here. If I'm going to be locked in here, I might as well have a torch. Alright. How about the shield in there? Now, I do have a rock. Do I not? So the rock doesn't win? So what if I get a lot of these shields in there? I'm going to assume for the moment that there's just a uh, second effect from uh, either the button or the pressure plate that I don't see immediately. Or perhaps there's another uh, button on the wall. Here's one. Because it doesn't seem like putting anything on this button plate does a whole lot. It just seems unusual that the, uh, the gates come crashing down from either side without uh, that really doing anything. Unless it's one of those torch kind of puzzles. Now there's another knight. 
Aha, can't get me. Hopefully there's not one sneaking up behind me. Nope, nope sneaking up in front of me. Magic. I guess I could attack with a sword, but I can't read. Alright, now he's still in there. Oh, no. How were they getting there? That was kind of the question. Grab the torch from there. There is a spot for a torch there, but not here, so probably doesn't have much to do with the torches. Now there's another one. I'm starting to not like this guy. They must be coming from somewhere. But I really don't know where. Unless there is another button somewhere. Another loose stone. Okay, so there's one there. The other one is around. Place is rumbling again. Okay, I might just have to come back here and think about this in a little bit. There's another one of those nights. Right, well, we've got half of these rooms uh, figured out, so we're gonna we're gonna stop here. We'll pick back up uh, and hopefully pick it back up later, and we'll hopefully be able to figure out these other two rooms. Thank you very much for joining me. This has been Legion of Grim or Legend of Grimrock.